Hey guys, it's Eric with the Middle Park Minute, where we're throwing strikes and getting likes and dingers, getting listeners back again with another episode, talking brew crew ball like we always do. Uh, we got lots to talk about Brewers victory. We got some trade rumors. Uh, some trades have gone down in the MLB. We'll talk about the scores. We'll talk about what's new in the news. Uh, before we start the show today, though, let's talk about uh, SeatGeek. If you use the code MillerParkMinute at SeatGeek.com, you can save $20 off your first purchase of tickets. Uh, this is your only daily brewer show. We are on Apple, Spotify, Google, iHeartRadio, CastBox, Rumble, YouTube, you name it, just to name a few. Uh, we're on TikTok, Twitter, Instagram, you name all the social medias. We're there, Facebook, uh, Miller Park Minute, and the Milwaukee Brewers. If you want to join the conversation, feel free to hit me up with the DM or join in the group chats. Uh, we do a live recording every Saturday at about 4 o'clock. Uh, if you want to come in and be a part of that, it's on every platform that I just mentioned. And then if you want to join below, you can uh, support the channel there. It's like tipping for the service that I provide. Click that on, on YouTube. Uh, also, you can go over to patreon.com, patreon.com slash Miller Park Minute. That's another way to join and support the show. All right, guys. That being said, we got through all that. Uh, let's get into the episode and talk about the good, the bad, and the downright ugly of today's Milwaukee Brew game. I think... The first place Milwaukee Brewers, we have put the nail in the coffin in the Reds. Uh, we have beat them in the season series. We're done with them for the season. Uh, 57 and 46. Ooh, my eyes, my eyes went bad there. Uh, 57 and 46 on the year so far. Um, it goes without saying, the good is Freddie Peralta. How is the good not Freddie Peralta? Um... Six innings, four hits allowed, no earned runs, 13 Ks. That's a high for him. That's matches his actually his first outing. Um, no long balls given up. So go Freddie. Quality start. Uh, did not get the W though. Uh, that went to our man Perguo Elvis. Uh, one inning, one hit, two Ks, no runs allowed. Piamps went one inning, one hit, one K, no runs. And, of course, Devin Williams locked down save number 26 on the year in his 46th appearance with two strikeouts. 18 total strikeouts by the Milwaukee Brewers today, so that is also part of the good. The the good was the starting pitching in the bullpen. Uh, The bad, obviously, our hitting. Uh... Goes without saying that uh, on a day where you uh, put up nine hits and only three runs, that is the bad. Um, we brought up Toro today because we had to put Jesse Winker on the IL. Uh, back spasms is what they're claiming. So it's always mysterious when they when they when they bench a guy, and then all of a sudden. <laughs> He gets, he gets injured. Strange. Strange how that all works, right? Uh, yeah. I think my downright ugly is going to have to go to Willie Adamas. Willie Adamas is still struggling at the plate. Uh, one for four today, uh, followed by uh, Contreras. Um just downright ugly uh, performances on guys who should be a little more veteran uh, compared to these fresh guys that we got in the lineup. So, all in all, it's a good day. It's a win. A win's a win's a win. Uh, I know I always say there's no downright uglies in a win, but well, we'll just call those downright uglies today. So, that being said, I want to move on, uh, talk about where we stand here now after today. Being the Reds, uh, we are one and a half. Ahead of the Reds, got this. Took the series from the Reds. Took the season series from the Reds. Uh, we don't have to worry about them as, except for we just have to put distance and hope that other teams beat them. Well, it goes without saying. I forgot to mention uh, Tyrone Taylor's home run to put the Brewers in, in the lead. I almost forget about Tyrone Taylor because he doesn't do very much and he doesn't grab too many articles, but. Uh, too many leads, but 
Um, yesterday when I mentioned Christian Yelich's stat line, I forgot to mention that Christian Yelich is literally like two home runs away from Willie Adamas. He's been cranking up the numbers as of late. Could be a 300 hitter. Uh, he has had the best turnaround of any player this season. So let's get into the articles and the news here. Uh, the hottest pitching prospect in each system. Do you guys have any idea? Do you have a guess? I do. I do. I have a guess. It's going to be Mezeroski, the one that everyone says is untouchable. Scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Logan Henderson. Okay. Weird. <laughs> I disagree. Ah, just another article. Just another article. Uh, Cheerio is leading uh, Biloxi. Uh, it says, watch free as Cheerio top 100 prospect leads Biloxi. So he's been tearing it up down there. He's doing awesome. Um, with MLB.tv, you do get the minor league games. I don't have enough time to watch minor league games, but if you do, go ahead and watch them. Maybe you can report back to me and tell me anything interesting. Uh, so as I said, Winker got sent down back spasms or put to the IL with back spasms. Abraham Toro was recalled. Brandon Woodruff gets his start tomorrow. And we are going to move into some different articles that I've read. So this one talks about Brewers rumor. MLB insider surprisingly report crew could be catcher could be on the trade block. Um, well, the Brewers catcher, Victor Terry Caratini has been linked to multiple reports from MLB insiders suggesting he's a trade candidate. Both Jeff Pisan and Robert Murray have listed Victor Caratini as a trade option as the Late backup catcher has served as Corbin Burns' battery mate. He is a solid defender and hits from both sides of the plate, which makes other teams find him appealing. I don't know. Like, see, this one seems very weird to me. The reason I say this is, like, out of all scenarios, you're not going to trade your aces catcher. We have strength in catching. I don't think we're going to trade it, but I understand, I understand the thoughts behind it. Um, so this next one is uh, just different different play, top four players for trade candidates. Uh, obviously, CJ Crone, a first baseman. Uh, CJ Crone is hitting 255 with a 779 OPS and 11 homers. Uh, not crazy by any means, but he's definitely one that uh, would be a cons considered an option. Uh, Randall Gritschuk, we've talked about this before. Uh, he is hitting at 309 with six homers and a 118 OPS plus. Again, this is an article. This is reviewing the brew that I'm reading this off of. Uh, Brad Hand, left-handed pitcher. Uh, Hand has been rumored multiple times over, so... Uh, he has a 4.54 ERA through 37 appearances, 1.4. By whip granted, he's pitching in Colorado. Okay, so Colorado arm. Um, gotcha. And left-hand pitcher Eduardo Rodriguez. Again, I feel we have we have been linked and talked about this guy. 2.69 ERA and 14 starts with just 1.9 walk to. Uh, Ball ratio. I think infielders is the middle infielders is not what we need. We need we need first and third. Uh, I did a video yesterday. I talked about Cam Candelario. I think he's a good fit. Um, there'll be more of those little pop up videos coming up. Got a couple of them. 
as the trades go down and stuff like that, obviously I have to pull them down, but uh, so far so good. <laughs> I, haven't had, I haven't had to to curb any any other video ideas at at this juncture. Uh, so obviously we're we're doing the get to know. Um, get to know articles, manage account. Uh, talking to self relic. Self relic is uh, been doing rather good for our crew. Obviously, uh, just here a bit of a short time, but self relic is from Lexington, Mass. Uh, he's five ten. He's 23 years old. Uh, he played in the World Baseball Classic for Team Italy. Uh, had three hits and a 7-1 and one victory over Cuba that helped the club surprisingly advance the quarterfinals. Did Sal Freelich make his Major League debut July 22, 2023. Why was he down? We already know that. All other facts. He became the first Brewer to have three or more hits with two RBIs in his first de in his debut. Uh, he played baseball, hockey, football, was Gatorade High School Sports Football Player of the Year in Massachusetts after throwing three, uh, 30 touchdowns his senior year. He offered both baseball and football scholarships at Boston College. All right. That being said, that's your get-to-know Sal Freelich. <laughs> All right. So let's talk about uh, what's what's gone down so far and what trades have actually transpired. Now it looks like the Angels have acquire, acquired Lucas Jolito. So he, he was one that I had mentioned in a previous video. Mauricio Lo Lovera from the Giants, Red Sox. Uh, Shohei Otani is off the trade market. This has been talked about multiple times over. Nobody has impressed um, Artie Moreno with their interest in Shoei Otani. Joe Kelly is garnering interest from the Dodgers, which uh, Joe Kelly was a former Dodger, so that's kind of interesting. Uh, Guardian swapped Ahmad Rosario for Noah Syndergaard earlier today. Marlon swapped for a Jorge Lopez for Dylan Florio. Marlon swamp. That's all we got for the rumor mill on that side. Let's see if there's any updates on the Brewers page of this rumor mill. Always good to check. Uh, we already talked about Winker. We already talked about that. Good there. Let's talk about the scores around the league real quick. Uh, so final in Colorado is uh, Rockies 4, Nats 5. Uh, Marlins beat the Rays 7-1. The Royals lost to the Guardians 8-3. The Mariners 8-7 over the Twins. Of course, Brew Crew won't beat the Reds today. Uh, Cardinals beat the D-backs 11-7. Pirates beat the Padres 3-2. The Blue Jays beat the Dodgers. The Orioles uh, lost to the Phillies 6-4. Uh, the Yankees beat the Mets 3-1. The Red Sox beat the Braves 5-3. That's good. Uh, the Rangers beat the Astros 13-5. Cubs beat the White Sox again. Uh, the Athletics lost to the Giants, 8-3. to three. And it uh, looks like the Angels game was postponed for the evening. So let's go over to our friends at BrewerFanatic.com. Talk, talking Brewer Fanatic. Uh, they're talking about tradability of the farm system. Again, this is the part two. Remember the last night when we talked about it, they were ranking guys as a Jackson Churio to an off-the-market entirely to a high value piece all the way up to five, right? So Jackson Cheerio is like they're untradeable. Robert Gasser, they're rating at a three, which is a good player, unlikely to be exchanged in a Philip piece. 
Now, uh, Carlos F. Rodriguez is a two. Luis Lara is a three, it looks like. Robert Moore is a four. All right, all right. <laughs> I get it. I don't know. I I put up today on Twitter, I put out Jackson Churio for Shohei Otani straight up. <laughs> I would do that trade seven days a week. Um, not a lot of people said they would, though. It's kind of funny. Uh, you realize his value is only as high as, as as good as he plays once he gets here. And if he doesn't play good, he could be a Keston here. He could be a Corey Wright. He could be a, a slew of other names that I could name. You know, not everybody turns into a Ryan Braun or, you know, anything like that. So Prince Fielder, all these guys. Uh, there's an article that they wrote, should uh, self really be batting leadoff for the crew? Harold Hutchinson's 14 hours ago. Take a look at brewfanatic.com. Go over there. I got special edition videos. There's going to be another one probably tomorrow-ish. Um, so, yeah, go ahead and check those out, guys. I do a lot, of, a lot of work with those guys. I like those guys. Just haven't done as much as I would have liked to. Uh, let's see what they've got for trade rumors for us. Middle infield help. I find that weird that there's saying we need middle infielders. Like a Tim Anderson type of deal. Paul DeYoung. Hmm. Interesting, interesting, interesting. I, I'm i going to go on a, a thing with the trades real quick before I finish this episode off. So one of the things that I think is we don't need to get a C-level star. We need to get an A-level player. And I, I want to – it's just what we need to do as a team. We need a, a more A-level player. We don't need to tra trade for any C or B-level guys. So that's what I want. An infielder, first or third base, preferably in my opinion, that's more A-level than B-level, if that makes sense to you guys. I hope you understand that. That's all I got today. Uh, we'll talk to you tomorrow. Tomorrow's an off day, so no game, nothing to talk about. We'll, we'll talk about the Brave series, and we'll – We'll cover some more trade scenarios and, and things I think of, and maybe I'll pop a couple of little trade shorts in, in the interim. So thanks for watching, guys. As always, go Brewers. Remember to like, subscribe, share this video with your friends. Uh, we are trying to get this channel really rolling here. Uh, this is one of the best Brewers podcasts out there. We know it. We want everyone else to know it. So like, subscribe, and share the videos, guys. Thank you for watching the Miller Park Minute, and go Brew Crew. See you in the next one. Thank you for watching the Miller Park Minute. Go Brewers!